Hello everyone, Deacon Joyce here. I'd like to read to you from 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, while we are walking in darkness, we lie and not do what is true. But if we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Another verse from Psalm 19, verse 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Since we are in Epiphany, I'm going to read to you a poem about light. It is called, Your Word is Like a Lamp, O Lord. It is written by a contemporary hymn writer, Carolyn Gillette Winfrey, and she is one of my favorites. I have her book called Gifts of Love. Hear the words. Your word is like a lamp, O Lord, and like a light to guide our way. For in this ever-changing world, it bears your promise every day. You show your love to Israel, and to the world you sent your Son. A witness without parallel, the scriptures tell what you have done. You speak your word in history to cultures bound by time and place. Yet in the Bible we can see the boundless reaching of your grace. And now, please pray with me as I read the fourth stanza as a prayer. God, open wide each heart and mind. By your own spirit, now we pray that in your scriptures we may find new strength to serve you every day. Amen. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. And remember that you have a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path.